What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So, Blizzard has done it again and gave us some much needed hype and boy, I am so excited about the brand new news. If you guys haven't already heard that the devs have already tweeted out, okay, they tweeted out about the brand new update that's gonna be coming in the patch notes next week. Okay, and we're gonna break everything down because this is, this is next level. I'm actually excited. I know a lot of people have been hating but boy, I'm excited, so let's get right into this. Okay, your boy Adam Fletcher, a.k.a. Pez Radar, tweeted out, Hey, 1.3.2 patch notes are now available. This patch introduces uber unique crafting. Okay, 1.3.2 will ship next Tuesday, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day, on all platforms. I think this is crazy. Don't get caught up on reading in the comment section because you know how it gets when there's things surrounding Diablo 4. Okay, so let's just jump right into the patch notes because this is this is just nuts. Because when I first saw these, like, because I've been working all day, guys, so I didn't get a chance to report earlier. I wish I can, but maybe one day we will. But, man, when I first read these, I was absolutely blown away. I was like, there's no way. This is the same thing. That we, it, it's similar to something we had before. Hold on, hold on. Let me cook for a sec, okay? So the Diablo team has been monitoring, monitoring the feedback from the players, which I hope they continue to do. And maybe it's stuff that they will bring, you know, more things. Just bet, you know, just try to try to have like a really good working relationship with us, right? So let's get into it. Uber unique crafting, absolutely fantastic. Developers note: Uber unique items are highly sought after. This is true because there's a lot of builds. Although some, a lot of those builds are not required for Uber Uniques, the Uber Uniques are just really good items that just make your build just so much better. And it's kind of something that we've been wanting just from a unique standpoint in general, not even necessarily Ubers. A good example of this is the the new Uber, hel or not Uber, the new unique helmet, the Starfall helmet for the Sorcerer where it basically changes Meteor and changes the entire build, right? Like, so having items like this that really change how builds work is important and the uber uniques just take things to another level right so with the season of blood we introduce target farming on uber unique items this is great uh, however we want to give players an increased autonomy in obtaining uh their desire to uber unique by addressing feedback expressed by how they we acquire duplicates this is a good example because in season two i had five shakos okay i had five shakos i mean I would have to make every single class and have a build exactly that would work the you know shako in there in reality it doesn't re even really that i only need one maybe maybe two you know but like having five uber uniques five shakos what am i going to do with them all so uh lessens the feeling of triumph this is very true a new system empowers players to make uh use of duplicates and undesired uber uniques an undesired one for an example if you guys were here during our our last couple live streams, we we finally got to 100 Durio runs and we got our Starless Skies. I was really looking for that item for my Blizzard build because it just it takes it to the next level into S tier. So I I thankfully got it, but this crafting system is going to be a great way to be able to target something like that. So uh, the new Uber Unique items by salvaging them for a new resource which can be used to eventually craft an Uber Unique of their choosing. Additionally, the chance for the Uber Unique items dropped everywhere but in uh, uber durial encounters has been increased so i'm really curious to how much that is increased it's great that it is increased everywhere this means anything in the overworld fighting any bosses this uh also includes uh not not bosses not on the boss ladder but like bosses in the dungeon all your nightmare dungeons right your hell tides all these things increased across the board that's really good i'm interesting because if my math was correct last time, it was 2% drop rate for Uber Uniques against Durial. So I don't know what it was before. Maybe it's going to be hovering around 1% or half a percent or something like that in the overworld, which, I mean, a boost is better. No complaints there for that. Uber Unique items can now be savaged, salvaged, savaged, salvaged to provide a new resource, Resplendent Sparks. Players can bring five of these sparks to the alchemist and transmute an uber unique of their choice. The refined resources tab at the alchemist has been renamed transmute and the option to craft an uber unique item can be found under that tab. Perfect. Note that the preview window for crafting uber uniques 
will won't display the items affixes okay that's fine i mean we know they're perfect anyway right except for the melted heart adam where you at on that man my move speed is still super low the, and then, of course, the drop chance for Uber Unique's uh, items acquired outside of Durio counters has been increased. This is really good. Before we get into delving a little bit more, the Curse Shrine event now gives a Shrine bonus at the start of the event uh, when it finishes. Also, I do want to mention that uh, last one, I didn't report on this because I didn't think it was super crazy, but um, okay, so they didn't actually add it in. But they are increasing, if we go to Mr. Adam Fletcher himself, they are increasing our, our our EXP gain, our EXP gain in the brand new event. It is being increased to 100% from 50 per monster kill, as well as our Glyph XP going from 10% uh, to 20%, even though the in-game note will be 10%. This is good just for the Lunar event. Um, again, I'll talk about this in another video, but this is just another update if you guys didn't know about that one. So yeah, guys, the Uber Uniques can now be crafted now what i do want to showcase and just talk about is if we go in here to like the game and just kind of highlight something here like getting an uber unique is tough right like i've done 100 runs as you guys can see above my camera here and last season we did this too and i kind of just kept track which was just a really cool thing to be able to just uh you know have and show players how many you've run and things like that and i think it's having something like that is just super cool and Last season, I did 836 runs last season and got 10 Uber Uniques, all right? And again, remember, five of them were Shakos. So I didn't get all of them, but I'm still missing like Grandpapa and the staff and stuff. But this season, I'm already at 100 Durial runs, which is actually very low. And we already got four Uniques and they're all different, right? And here I am sitting with my Shako. So imagine me getting another one of these i just run over to the you know the occultist here and we just hit the tab up we salvage this thing and you know we just salvage it and boom now we got these crystals now here is the catch which maybe some other creators have talked about but i really wanted to hone in on this because this is very important so it says we need five however it is not saying how many we get when we salvage the item it does not say that it doesn't at all now one thing i want to get into from diablo 3 as an example let me switch games here so in diablo 3 there is something that they added a few seasons ago which is one of the best things they cover ever could have added which was the curiosity of that okay where we can upgrade a legendary item with primordial ashes and it makes an item a um, primal ancient which is the highest level that we have here so if i go over to my stash just to showcase what the item looks like right if i can find it where is it so this is what the the item looks like it's very similar to a primal ancient item but it's slightly different and slightly color different because we used our ashes to make this. And this is something that was really important in Diablo 3 because, you know, it's very, very hard for me to find a primal ancient dawn, right? Because it rolls with perfect stats, just like the Uber Uniques do in Diablo 4. But I thought when I first read this, I was like, this is so perfect. We're continuing something like this. You can come in here and you can craft a regular legendary item and use primordial ashes in order to craft it now in here to go to my point of how many uber uniques in diablo 4 is it going to take for primordial ashes when you salvage you don't get enough to do it with just one so you have to find two primal ancients in order to get the hundred to do it okay so does that mean that with our uber uniques in diablo 4 with a two percent drop rate in with durial which is the best way and best gives you the best odds to get it is this going to be where we have to salvage two uber uniques in order to get five resplendent sparks meaning like does one uber unique when you salvage it give you three you know or does it give you four as an example right if it gives you two that's a that's a complete fail if it's if it's more than two it's a complete fail like it's a complete fail they should just remove it from the game okay i'm gonna say that right now because 
This season alone, I've only done 100 and I have four. I have people in my community that have already done 800 runs this season on Duriel and haven't found one Uber unique yet. So I'm praying, Blizzard praying, that based on how this reads, that like, hey, I find my very first Uber unique and it's the Doombringer. And I salvage it and I get five sparks right away per Uber unique. And then that way, oh man, I got an Uber unique. It's a Doombringer. That sucks. I don't want that. I want a Shaco. So I could salvage the Doombringer and just turn it into a Shaco. I pray that this is the case every single time you salvage one, you get five resplendent sparks. In addition to that, I really hope it's that way because what this does is there's been a lot of backlash and players that have been upset because each season, not only do you have to start over, but you're going to have to farm all of these uniques all over again if you want them, right? So it would make sense if they one Uber unique gives you five sparks because to me that lessens the blow of players who are going to return for season in, season out, you know? each season you find the one that you don't want you salvage it you get five sparks and you go make the one that you do want so i really hope that's the case that does that would help so much when it comes to players playing each season and more of the casual players especially because so many casual players don't want to play seasons because they have to restart anyway but then when you slap on that you have to re-farm uber uniques again players get really discouraged for that so this if it was one to one we salvage, we get five, and I can go make whatever I want for my build. I think that would be the best and most efficient. You know what? Scratch all that. I'm not even trying to. The best way, Blizzard. The best way. One for five. Do it. That's it. It's done. But yeah, guys, I'm super psyched. Another thing I want to add to this is just this is the first step into crafting that we they have kind of promised us later in the year or in later seasons where they're going to have an end game crafting systems so this is one big step towards that i hope that it gets better as we continue to go but like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think about the uber unique crafting and don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll see you guys in the next one peace